Welcome to this Heritage Open Day podcast from Norwich Cathedral. Cathedral guide David Bussey introduces some of the animals depicted in the cathedral's stained glass windows. We hope this podcast will encourage you to visit Norwich Cathedral and discover our stained glass windows for yourself. Details of our opening times are on our website. Norwich Cathedral is full of animals. They're carved on the wooden choir schools. They're on the roof bosses, among the graffiti, on tombs, painted on screens, and of course, in the stained glass windows. Many come from Bible stories, but some belong to folk tradition, and others are heraldic, or are there simply to celebrate the generosity of God's creation? Facing you in the Jesus Chapel, to the left of the ambulatory, is a window containing this creature and three of his friends. They were designed in the 14th century when red squirrels were common, and each one of these is different. No early glass in the cathedral survives in its original position, and this window has been made up from fragments belonging to the dean and chapter, which explains why the squirrel has lost a bit of his front leg. But you can see how the artist has enjoyed fitting his work into the oblong space, taking some liberties, perhaps, by giving the animal unusually long ears. The squirrels are here just to be enjoyed. Nearby, at the bottom of the Erpingham window, is a medieval winged lion with symbolic meaning, one of four winged creatures associated with the writers of the Gospels. The lion represents St Mark, most grandly in Venice. Our example is more modest and domestic. The artist is unlikely to have seen a lion and would have worked from pattern books and imagination. The result is exuberantly drawn on white glass with plenty of curls and the liveliness of a domestic dog. His tail may be between his legs but his eyes are undoubtedly bright. The third window on the left wall of the nave, that is approaching from the west door, contains a rectangular panel with colourful heraldry. This is the coat of arms of King Charles I, and there are several different lions to see in it. An impressive crowned lion on the left supports the shield, the King of Beasts, that has represented the Kingdom of England since the 1100s. On the right is the Unicorn of Scotland, in chains because of its reputation for power and ferocity. The two countries were brought together under James I and VI in 1603, not long before this shield was painted. The second window on the other side of the nave takes us to the New Testament. It was made in 1878 and is dedicated to the memory of Sir Samuel Bignold, son of the founder of the Norwich Union. In the lower section are five small scenes depicting Jesus as the Good Shepherd. The central picture shows him protecting his Christian flock by fending off three salivating wolves with his crook. The regular shepherd in the background seems to be beating a hasty retreat, while the sheep themselves appear bemused rather than alarmed by the experience. Our spectacular west window was installed in 1854 
when Victorians were rediscovering the lost art of strongly coloured glass. Its six large pictures compare scenes from the Old and New Testaments, and the lower central scene depicts the story of the brazen serpent. God has sent a plague of deadly serpents to rekindle the faith of the Israelites as they travel through the wilderness. Moses is ordered to place a brass serpent on a pole and anyone who looks at it will be healed. In the window, two men have died and a snake continues to menace. But the other Israelites are looking up to the brass snake and safety. The last window on this brief tour is halfway along the north side of the nave and commemorates members of the 7th Dragoon Guards who died in the First World War. Mounted on a horse, St George is trampling the dragon and flanked by figures in armour representing victory and valour. He is the patron saint of Norwich as well as of England and is painted in white and primary colours so powerful that he appears to be riding out of the window towards us. One can almost hear the crack of bones as the dragon is crushed beneath the horse's hooves, but its sharp teeth, horn, talons and evil eye remind us that it is a beast to avoid. These are just a few of the animals lurking in our windows to reward the eagle-eyed. We hope you will search further for yourselves.